Have you ever woken up in a cold sweat wondering why you just spent the night being chased through a shopping mall by a giant talking pickle? Or maybe you were giving a TED talk in your underwear while Beyonce sat in the front row taking notes. Dreams are the original late night blockbusters. Weird, wild, and completely unpredictable. But here's the real question. Why does your brain insist on serving up these surreal midnight movies in the first place? What exactly are dreams? Dreams are basically your brain's late night improv show. Once your body checks out, your mind starts rolling highlight reels of bizarre scenarios, mixing familiar faces with random places, and sprinkling in anxieties you didn't even know you ordered. They're part comedy, part horror, and part, what on earth was that? Most of this action happens during REM sleep, the phase where your eyes dart around like you're watching a movie behind your eyelids. Your body stays paralyzed, thankfully, so you don't try to actually fly off the couch, while your brain hums with activity, almost as if you were awake. Here's the quirky science twist. The brainstem flips the REM switch, while the forebrain writes the dream script. Knock out the brainstem and you get dreams without REM. Knock out the forebrain and you get REM without dreams. Think of them as a comedy duo. One holds the mic, the other tells the jokes. Without both, the show falls flat. Why do we dream in the first place? Here's where things get interesting. Scientists still can't agree on exactly why we dream. Theories abound, but definitive proof? Not so much. Still, the possibilities make a lot of sense. One idea is that dreams are part of your brain's filing system. Imagine your brain as a slightly neurotic office manager who stays late after hours, sorting papers into neat little stacks. While you are out cold, it organizes your memories, files away new skills, and deletes clutter you don't need. Another theory suggests that dreams serve as a kind of rehearsal for real life. That's why you sometimes find yourself arguing with your boss, running from danger, or trying to solve an impossible puzzle in your sleep. Your brain might be giving you a low-stakes simulation to prepare for the high-stakes daylight hours. There's also evidence that dreams are less about reality and more about imagination. Your subconscious grabs fragments of memories, odd wishes, half-formed ideas, and anxieties, tosses them in a blender, and presses frappe. Out comes your dream a bizarre concoction that may or may not reflect anything real. And then there's the emotional side of things. Nightmares, for example, often tie directly to stress and trauma. People with PTSD are more likely to experience recurring nightmares centered around their trauma. Even people without PTSD, though, have occasional nightmares, which suggests our brains may be using dreams as a way to process heavy emotions. So while we don't have one neat explanation that ties it all together, dreams seem to help us organize, rehearse, process, and, just maybe, entertain ourselves. Why are dreams so wildly weird? If dreams were logical, they wouldn't be nearly as memorable. No one brags about a dream where they did laundry and nothing went wrong. Instead, we dream about flying, talking animals, or discovering we've been enrolled in high school all over again. The reason for this absurdity lies in the strange chemistry of the dreaming brain. During REM sleep, some neurotransmitters rev up while others clock out. Acetylcholine steps in to keep the brain buzzing, while dopamine, the same chemical linked to rewards, motivation, and hallucinations, goes into overdrive. With dopamine fueling the show, no wonder dreams feel like a mashup of Salvador Dali paintings and sci-fi movies. Meanwhile, the neurotransmitters that normally keep us alert, like serotonin, histamine, and norepinephrine, are dialed down, leaving us blissfully unaware of the outside world. Add to that the fact that the thalamus, your brain's sensory gatekeeper, may effectively close its doors while you dream, and you've got yourself a private screening room where reality can't intrude. How long do dreams last? Dreams are slippery things, not least because they fade so quickly when we wake up. Some studies suggest they can last anywhere from a few minutes to half an hour, but measuring them is tricky. The kicker is that time in dreams doesn't play by the same rules as in waking life. 
A dream might feel like it lasted for hours, days, or even weeks, only for you to wake up and discover it was all crammed into a short dream cycle. It's basically the inception paradox. Time bends, stretches, and folds in ways we can't quite pin down. Do we really dream every night? The short answer is yes. Almost certainly. Most people have several dreams per night during their rapid eye movement cycles. The longer answer is that you probably don't remember most of them. Unless you wake up in the middle of a dream or right after one, chances are it'll vanish from memory before your alarm clock even goes off. That's why so many people insist, I never dream. The truth is, they just don't remember. If you're dying to hold on to your nightly adventures, a dream journal is your best friend. Keep a notebook by your bed and jot down your dreams as soon as you wake up. If you wait until after coffee, forget it. The dream will be gone, leaving only a nagging memory of how strange it was. Can dreams be interpreted? Ah, the age-old question. People have been trying to decode dreams for centuries, and no one took it more seriously than Sigmund Freud. Back in the mid-20th century, Freud argued that dreams were full of symbols hiding repressed desires. That dream about your teeth falling out? Freud might have said it was about your subconscious fear of, well, practically anything. But here's the reality check. Modern science has found little evidence to support the idea of universal dream symbols. Those dream dictionaries that claim to tell you what a snake or a ladder means? Entertaining, sure? Scientific? Not really. What dreams actually mean is highly personal. If you dream about showing up late to class, it could be your brain processing anxiety about work deadlines, or it could just mean you regret not hitting snooze one less time. So the next time you dream about being chased by a giant taco, don't rush to a psychic. Look inward, or maybe just stop eating spicy food before bed. When the brain goes dark. Not all dreams are whimsical roller coaster rides. Nightmares can shake you awake, heart pounding, grateful to find out you weren't actually being chased by zombie clowns through a shopping mall. They often pop up more during times of stress, illness, or after certain medications. For people with post-traumatic stress disorder, they can be haunting repeats of traumatic events. But even for the average person, nightmares are part of the package deal. Scientists suspect they serve a purpose in processing fear, though, let's be honest, no one really enjoys them. Lucid dreaming. Then there's lucid dreaming, the phenomenon where you realize you're dreaming and take control of the action. Imagine recognizing you're in a dream and deciding on the spot to fly or to teleport to Paris or to summon Ryan Reynolds for a coffee date. Lucid dreamers do exactly that. It's not easy, but with practice, some people can get pretty good at it. Techniques like keeping a dream journal, performing little reality checks during the day, or setting intentions before sleep can increase your chances. For some, lucid dreaming is a creativity booster. For others, it's a way to work through anxiety. And for many, it's simply the coolest video game ever. And it's free. Our greatest hits of weird dreams. Let's be honest, dream science is fascinating. But the weirdness of our nightly episodes is what makes them memorable. Nearly everyone shares some dream themes. There's the classic naked in public dream, which never happens somewhere forgiving like a cozy cabin. It's always in a boardroom or a crowded classroom. Then there's the flying dream, which can either feel majestic or like you're desperately flapping your arms while barely getting off the ground. The teeth falling out dream is so universal that dentists must secretly be thrilled by it, while the being chased dream always features villains that are way too fast. And, of course, the dreaded work stress dream, where your boss suddenly rides into the office on a llama while demanding next quarter's numbers. And that's the wild, wonderful, and occasionally terrifying world of dreams. If you enjoyed unraveling the science and the silliness behind your midnight movies, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, sweet dreams, and may all your flying dreams actually take off.